That weight of gold that came to Solomon in one year was 666 talents of gold. Yes. <laughs> Beside that, he had uh, merchants of the traffic of the spice merchants. Yes, the merchant men. Mm -hmm. And all the kings of Arabia and of the governors of the country. Mm -hmm. Beside that, he had of the merchant men and of the traffic of the spice merchants. Yes. And of all the kings of Arabia. Mm -hmm. And King Solomon made 200 talents of beaten gold. Uh -huh. 600 shekels of gold went uh, to one target. Yep. He made 300 uh, shields of beaten gold. And three pound of gold went to one shield. Yep. <laughs> and the king put them in the house of the forest of Lebanon. <laughs> now, uh, this idea of making shields out of gold. Yep. <laughs> It doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Oh. Let's say you went out to war. Yes. Mm -hmm. And are you going to really use these shields to defend yourself against an attack? Yes. As if you were killed, your enemy's going to get all this gold if he can kill you. Oh. Now, why Solomon? Hmm. He would make shields. Yes. Mm -hmm. Of beaten gold. Three pound of gold went to one shield. And the king put them in the house of the forest of Lebanon. <laughs> Moreover, the king made a great throne of ivory and overlaid it with the best gold. <laughs> the throne was six steps, and the top of the throne was round uh, behind, and there were stays on either side of the place of the seat. <laughs> Two lions stood beside the stays. <laughs> you know, I've, I've seen those shows where they use lions. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know what I'm talking about. They, they have these big lion type of statues next to the thrones or as you're going up to some sort of palace or something. Yes, the, or, the ornamation, yeah, the, the or, how it's, uh, well, it's kind of a designer type of a thing. Oh, <laughs> but I don't, I, you know, I wouldn't use gold to make shields. <laughs> now, um, there's this problem. Yes, mm-hmm. Uh, you're you're enriching yourself at the pain and suffering of those that are citizens, uh -huh. because in your mind you're famous. Yep, they've been watching your shows, Ooch. and uh, I couldn't see them, but they are they are what you've been doing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now, for all of those in the family that said, "Well, we'll just have to come some money today so that Paul can't get his rights enforced," yeah, <laughs> I didn't want to be famous. <laughs> I just wanted to have a family, yes, and then I wanted to have a nice job, right, and um, just support my family and be content with what um, what I received as a citizen of the United States. <laughs> now, let's say I did become famous, as in I had some fame, yeah, there's a possibility, yes, that you might not be able to talk to me, <laughs> You might see my name on a lawsuit, yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, that's probably as close as you'll get. <laughs> now, I know for a police department, this whole idea of not speaking to me, yes, there's been a lot of harassment, yes, a lot of malice. I know you arrested me multiple times for the allegation of crime, but you wouldn't exonerate me. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't admit the evidence that I was on the bus that morning. Right. You wouldn't admit the evidence that I was sitting in front of the Masonic Temple on June 16th of 2017. And of those employees of that big school district in Brennan, Washington. Yes. All 15 of them, inclusive of the bus drivers. Yes. If I took the actual number of employees that have teaching certificates there's approximately five of them yeah and then the uh, para professionals yes that work with the students all 50 of them yeah how the fuck is it that you can get a hundred thousand dollars a year is there something else going on at the school uh where my wife is employed oh. do you have a large number of classrooms right with individuals that are dogs yes that were made as clones. Poop. <laughs> now, there's a way, yes, to really blow the lid off this thing. Yes. Let's say I did speak to my sons. Oh. <laughs> and you decided to make lookalikes. Yes. Of uh, children. Yes. And then Heidi was the teacher, not the virtual teacher, but she was the teacher of all the dogs. Yes. Because some billionaire families decided mm -hmm, to do some cloning. Yeah. And they thought if they, if they use this little tiny 
uh, school district to do the cloning? Yes. That no one would notice out there in Brennan, Washington, that the only reason you're receiving all that income is because you're the superintendent of the cloned school. Oh, oh, oh. Now, when you start talking about billions of dollars in lawsuits, how many billionaire families, yes, wanted to perfect their cloning technology, yes, using my family as the communication system, oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> now, it's one thing to sue you for exploiting my sons on a football team. Yeah. But there's another thing to sue you for cloning them. Oh. <laughs> now, when I look at the actual technology, <laughs> see, I realize the superintendent doesn't have the availability of the science necessary to clone an actual individual. Yes. It's kind of like some billionaire family said, well, we want to clone the population. Yeah. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a top secret school district. Yes. Where every student has a clone. Yes. And then we'll do the switcheroony on them every day. Yeah. And then we will perfect our cloning technology so we can replace American citizens. <laughs> now, these little lawsuits that are in the billions of dollars, yeah, they become tens of billions of dollars or hundreds of billions of dollars. And for every technologist that said, well, this is the way that we're going, I'm that father, yes, that is going to have investigated right now. Every individual that has a billionaire family, you decided we were going to go the way of the clone. Mm -mm. Now, I know your billions mm -hmm, have shielded you from lawsuits. Yes, but I'm that father that never wanted to be famous. Ouch! But I'm going to put my name on every lawsuit today. Yes, he is. Now, uh, those... Oh that got their billions from software. I just like to know how many clones did you make of actual American citizens of the United States?